guys, I'm back with a uh, Generation Hope video. This one I'm actually quite excited for. I know this has two parts to it. Um, let me make sure this is part one. One sec here. Yeah, so this is going to be a uh, girl kidnapped on Halloween, part one. What happens is, what happens next is shocking. And there is a part two to this. I don't know if there's only two parts or if there's going to be three or four or five, just like uh, the other one we had, which I'm still waiting on the season two or whatever from Generation Hope, which was supposed to come out spring of 2022, which is already basically November 2022. So it's like a shit together and apparently they don't respond to them. So I don't know if that's still happening. If, you, if you're going to promise it, then come through it. Oh, shit. I didn't realize I was still recording. <laughs> Oopsies. So I basically just recorded nothing for the last six hours. Okay, terrific. Good job, Damien. I guess I can delete that. I think I... Whatever. Starting. Uh, I'm gonna have to, to delete that long ass file because I did not need to record for that long. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, this is the uh, girl kidnapped on Halloween. I'm curious how, like, what happened to make her get kidnapped. Like, um, and again, you gotta be careful. Like, it's now Halloween, so happy Halloween, guys. Um, it is basically nighttime still, but it's past 12, so, well, technically not yet. It's 11.48, but by the time this video is out, it'll be Halloween. So happy Halloween, guys. Hope you had, guys have a safe... Halloween. It is a Monday, so I don't expect anybody to party too hard. If it was a Friday or Saturday, I definitely expect the parties to be more up, but yeah, just because it's a Monday, I, st I still think people will keep up the spirit and keep partying and doing their stupid things and then just be tired Tuesday morning. But anyways, uh, yeah guys, let's go. I'm just curious what happens. Please unlock the door. Why would I do that? Then you'd be able to get out. Come here and give me a kiss. Oh. oh! I think you broke my nose! That's the point. Come here, give me a kiss. Disgusting. It's the last thing I want to do. Give you a kiss. Shit, run, run! Oh. Let me go! That elbow to the face really hurt, little darling. Well, no shit. I'm willing to forgive you if you will calm down and get back into my truck. Don't leave me alone! We can do this the easy way or we can do this the hard way. But trust me, you are not going to want to do it the hard way. Now stop struggling. I told you, you ain't going anywhere. What do you want from me? This is your own fault, Tara. You should have just got back in my truck like I asked you. Please, you do not have anything you want. You can have my phone and all the money in my purse. I don't want your money. I want your delicious body. God help me, please. God. Help God. Me. <laughs> I will. God. Alrighty then. Go see. Are you planning on bringing the entire closet? Get out of my room. Jeez, did you really need this many clothes to go camping with your friends? I don't expect you to understand fashion. What do you mean by that? I think you know what I mean. Damn. By the way, it doesn't look like you're taking anything useful. Stop looking through my stuff. Like what? Like spare tire? It's not the 1800s, Patrick. I don't need to bring a spare tire when I can call for roadside assistance or something. Okay. How about a map? Do you even know how to read one in case you get lost? I don't need to know how to read a map. Phones? Phones are for. Duh. Yeah, what if you lose service? Duh. What if you... Uh, what if your phone dies? Duh. I guess you'd have to have, have a portable charger, but still. A spare tire? Yeah, like if you have no service or if your phone's dead? Yeah, you ain't calling nobody. Service. Duh. That's not gonna happen. Listen, Derek, you're driving out to the middle of nowhere on Halloween night by yourself. By yourself? You really should be prepared for an emergency. Stop That's fact. Paranoid, Patrick. I'll totally be fine. I'll totally be fine. Map, a jack, a spare tire, some extra gas in case you can't find a gas station. Oh my god. I don't need any of that stuff. I'm only gonna be a few hours away, plus my friends will be there waiting for me. Seriously. I'm just really worried about you. Please, just take them out. Uh, I told you, I don't... Assuming that's the brother, yeah, like, he seems really caring, you know what I mean? Like, at least he's caring for her and wants her to be safe. And, and you know, good. Like, go, like, go on him saying that she needs all those things. 
I wouldn't think to bring all that stuff because well, I don't really go anywhere as it is. I just go to the fr I I just go to work and come back home, but or and gym as well. But yeah, that's all I really do. So I don't really I don't I don't do that. But yeah, they really should have that stuff. Don't need the map. I can call for help if I need anything. Take it. Yeah, we already saw the intro. We saw how well that worked out. Get out of my way, I'm gonna be late. Is this the boyfriend or brother? Fine. Thank you. He's so ridiculous. You're my little sister. I just want to make sure you're safe. Okay. What kind of brother would I be if I didn't watch out for you? Facts. Come on, bring it in. Get out of my way, Patrick. And so she's kind of an asshole. She she's kind of being an asshole. Did she just start? I think I need an actual map. You really had to do that? Like, you couldn't have kept it with you ju just in case? Like, even if you don't think you need it, have it with you. But it'll, 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 you know, it'll still make you feel possibly safer, you know? Come on, come playing? on, why isn't this stupid thing working? Patrick's gonna have a field day with this one. Oh my god, and I'm gonna be late to the party. Oh, my fan. Let's see if I can get some signal out here. Come on. I'm gonna have to have service somewhere around here. Come on. I think I got a bar. Diane? Diane? Hello, Diane? It's not working. Oh, a wifey list service. Duh. Is that not gonna happen? And what happened, Tara? Hmm? What happened, Tara? Dana. I should have kept that map. Idiot. You know, whatever. I'm a big girl. I can figure it out. Yeah, we'll see. Why do I feel like a guy got into her car? I guess you can always, like, stop by somewhere. Oh, the sun's are going down. Shit. Where am I? I'm really lost now. He, he didn't figure it out? Like, he, he, he didn't keep driving until you found a gas station or somewhere where you can possibly get a Wi Fi password or something? Anything. To kind of like know where you are, know where you're going, call somebody. That, like, nothing like that? Nothing. Well, I hope you bought a portable charger. On this road or the one back there? It doesn't even look like a road, it just looks like grass. Right. Stupid. I should have listened to Patrick. I should have taken the map and the extra tire. I'm so stupid. Yes, you are. Was there a doll in like that? Do you see that doll right there? That was kind of sus. Some kind of trouble. Anything I can help you with? Yeah, I, I ran out of gas and there's no cell service out here. Do you know where the nearest gas station is? The uh, nearest gas station's gonna be about 20 miles up the road. 20 miles? It's really far. You out here all by yourself? Yeah, I'm on my way to meet up with some friends. Uh, it's 
This is a dangerous place for a pretty young girl like yourself to be all alone. Do you think I can borrow your phone to call one of them? Maybe they can pick me up. I ain't got no phone. You don't have a cell phone? No. It ain't good for you. The government can't control your mind with those things. Oh. Well, don't worry. I can give you a ride. You can? Sure. Hop on in. I'll take you to see your friends. Okay. Yeah. No. No. That's that's not gonna cut it with me. Like he seems nice and everything, you know what I mean? Like he hasn't really given any red flags or anything. Ex except for the whole cell like cell phone thing. Which I get it, uh, I guess the government can see everything you're doing, but it's like I don't know. Whatever. They can probably hear me uh, hear me right now. Hi Canada government. Anyways. Um I don't know. I don't know what to really tell you guys. Like I don't I wouldn't trust it. I have no idea what time it is, but it's obviously after dark. I'm just gonna assume it's at least ten PM. Somewhere between 10 p.m., 11 p.m., 12 a.m., 1 a.m., 2 a.m. I have no fucking idea. But you got to want to be careful with this shit just because, again, it's Halloween. Not just that, but it's the middle of the night. It's Halloween. It's a random guy you don't even know. He's middle-aged. And yeah, and you guys know that the middle-aged men are always after those teen girls and all that. I don't know how old she is, but I'm assuming she's like 16. Or maybe... Yeah, cause she's driving. She has to be at least 16 because you can't be under 16 to drive. So she's at least 16, but that's still underage. You know? Like, you can still consent, you can still drive a car, you can still move out of the house, you can still do all that stuff, but like, you're still a child, technically, which is why it confuses me about the law. But anyways, we're not here for that. She has to be careful with the whole uh, hitchhiking, because, like, you, you, you got to be careful with that. Plus, you're just gonna, you're, you're just going to leave your car there. So where are these friends of yours? Uh, they're staying at Snow Lake Camp. Like, drop all your stuff? Like, all your stuff is in your car, isn't it? Like, you're just gonna leave all your stuff in your car? Like, where's your phone? Where's your bag? Where's your backpacks? Anything that you brought? Do you not bring anything? Hey, I'm sorry. I'm a little lost right now. I don't know exactly how to get there. I know Starlight Campsite. No problem. Wait, what about my car? It'll be fine here overnight. You can call for a tow in the morning. Okay. Uh, by the way, I really appreciate this. It's no problem at all. You just saved me from a boring night all alone. That was, that was kind of sus. I like the company. That's a little sus, just the way he's looking down and looking at his lips. That's sus. So, should we get going? What's the rush? I'd like to get to know a little bit about you first. Bitch, drive me to where I need to go. What's your name? You don't, you don't need to know. Tara. Tara. That's a really pretty name. I'm Ray. Nice to meet you, Ray. So, Tara, are your friends as sexy as you are? Yeah, you get out of the car right that second. Yeah, she's already kind of like, pardon? Yeah, no. Yeah, he's not driving you nowhere. Mm -mm. No, no. Like, you're ugh. huge red flag already. 100%, you get the fuck out of that car right now. 100%, like, no doubt. Bye. I'm leaving. I don't even care. I'm leaving. Bye. Like... No. Uh, okay. <laughs> Relax, I'm only teasing you. It's still sus, and I'd still get the fuck out of that car whether he's uh, he says he's joking or not. He ain't joking. Oh, okay. Pardon me. Oh, that's my hunting knife. I shot me a big deer yesterday, and don't mind the blood right there. I had to use it to finish the poor creature off. He wasn't dead when I shot him, so I had to cut his throat. <sighs> Cut its throat? Yes, ma'am. I had to. Didn't want him to suffer. The deer I shot yesterday was a buck. That's a male deer. Now, I much prefer a big fat doe. There's just something about the meat of a female. Oh, God. That, that, that's something else. It's so juicy and sweet. Okay, that's enough. You ever had deer meat before? No. It's mighty tasty. There's something I like even more than deer meat. It's human meat. What? <laughs> you should see the look on your face. I'm only teasing you again. No, you're not. Oh, uh, funny. You know, I don't want to make you drive all the way to the campsite. Oh, it's no trouble at all. Uh, no, really. Yeah, she's already sensing these red flags, and she she just wants to get the fuck out of there, but he's not going to let him. I'm he's not going to let her. her. I'll just stay here and find a gas station in the morning. I told you, 
The nearest gas station is 30 miles. You said it was 20 miles away. Miles away. I, I thought you said it was 20. Right. 20 miles. Mm hmm. That's what I meant. Um, can you unlock the door, please? I can't let you stay out here all by yourself. <laughs> no, really. I'll be fine. I'll just sleep in my car or something. And... Okay, okay. Fine. It's unlocked. <laughs> really? Can you unlock the door now? Okay. I'm pretty sure on most vehicles, I don't know what kind of car that is, but I know in the driver's seat there's like the back, the front, that uh, like the windows, and then there's also the lock to unlock all doors and lock all doors. I'm pretty sure that same switch is on the passenger seat of the driver. Driver, pa pa passenger, I'm pretty sure they have both the locks, so even though you're on the passenger, you, you can definitely unlock the door beside you. Not only that, but you should be able to press the button to unlock all the doors and then get the fuck out of there. Or, well, I don't know, punch him and then, yeah. How about I stay out here and sleep in your car with you? Yeah, that's not happening. What? Or better yet, we can sleep in my truck. Mm -hmm. No. There's plenty of room for both of us in the back. No. You're joking again, right? No. I'm dead serious this time. You're so pretty. Please don't touch me. Shh. It's okay, little doe. I won't bite you. Can you please unlock the door? Why would I do that? But you can unlock it yourself. Le uh, legit, just unlock it yourself. You can unlock it yourself. Then you'd be able to get out. Fuck six. Come here and give me a kiss. Oh! Oh! I think you broke my nose! Yeah, that's the point. <laughs> run, like, you really have to run like your life depends on it. Like, like, the fact that he caught up to you just shows that you weren't running fast enough. the end of that video. Let me just end this this time. Alright, well... Okay. I don't, I don't even know what to say. Alright. Um, I'm really curious as to how she's going to get out of this jam over here. Obviously it was her fault for getting into the car in the first place, but again, like you're going to trust anybody because like you're basically stranded, you don't want to wait till morning. Even when it is morning, you're still in the center in the middle of nowhere, and I don't even, I don't even know what the fuck she is. Like, that doesn't even look like a road. Like, that legit does not look like, look like a road. It just looks like a random, dusty old trail, like a, like a desert or something. I don't know where the fuck she went, but she, she went off the road, and she, and, and she just went off-road. She, she was like, no more roads for me. I'm going off-road. And yeah, that didn't end up so well. But again, Tara was obviously being stubborn in, in the beginning. I don't need this, I don't need this, I don't need this. I'm, I'm so smart. Fucking Tara. Like, yes, although she was being stupid, she obviously doesn't deserve this. Um, some creepy old man like that. But again, old men, like, 34-year-olds, I feel like they're just really attached to, to teen girls. Honestly, that's just how it is. Not all, obviously, but at least have it be legal. Well, I guess 16 is the age of consent, but she wasn't consenting. So guess what? No, you're definitely going to jail because you're not. Cause she's not even consenting. Anyways... But it's still kind of kind of weird, regardless. But yeah, yeah, whatever. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like. Be sure to comment down below what you guys thought of this video, and be sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications for more videos like this. And I'm gonna film part two basically like right after I I I, I turn this video off. I'm I'm gonna do part two right after that because I really want to see what happens in part two. And uh, yes, yeah, stay safe because again, it is now after twelve. It's twelve oh six now. So ha happy Halloween, guys. I hope you guys are safe, and I hope you guys have a safe Halloween night, and, uh, yeah, be safe, and, uh, don't, uh, don't die. Okay, cool, thank you. 
Have a good night, guys. See you later. Deuces. Peace.